your fashion sense. Because you came in with it, like you said. Let's check where we are time-wise because we could go on all day about this. I was just saying, let's not talk about swag because I'll embarrass you. In Daba, yo, you <laughs> do it, though. Yeah. But it's also just natural, also just organic? Kind of, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I am intentional. There's moments where I'm really like, oh, like, is it cousin first? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Said cousin first. Nyanyisa. You're going to act like you don't know, but you know. Nyanyisa. Who's like, up there with you? <laughs> okay, never mind. It's crazy that the answers nobody had I found when searching for myself. Let's toast to victory. Welcome to Chopping It with Buddha T. I am the Lord of the entire... The Lord today, not of the fit, <laughs> next to you, a beast of a thing. But uh, Lord of the Shade came on is the verdict. <laughs> Lord of <laughs> the mummies, Lord of uh, the entire, Lord of the every. Give it up for me, but then most importantly, give it up for Muesli, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Historic. Iconic. Thank you. Legendary. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't know what I did to deserve it, but I'm glad I did it, whatever it was. He just asked. And then... Yeah. Just go. Do you just go, like, to anybody who asks? Mm, I do. I have to be honest. Like, mm. if I can make it, I definitely will. Yeah. Like, if I can do it, I'm going to do it. I'm just like that. You're a nice young lady. I'm a nice young lady. But I respect the culture also. I feel like you, you just have to service the game. A lot of yeah. people don't want to do that. They don't want to service the game. Yeah. And that's like that's one of my secrets. I service the game. That's fire. Like, uh, so give to get. Because you can't only just want to take yeah. from the culture. Yeah. Got to invest in the culture. That's mm. fire. Thank you for investing in us here at Bro Beans. No, Shout out. <laughs> Shout out. You guys are doing your thing. I see y'all out there on the internet street. Shout out. Have you I'm checked so excited out? to be here. Thank you. Yeah. Have you checked us out? I have. I don't have three hours though, but <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I've, seen, you, <laughs> I've seen it. That's what you said to me. <laughs> this whole, like, hey, but I don't have three hours. So what? You just catch me snippets. No, 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 no. I actually sit through it. Mm. I sit through it. If you're with the right person, you can sit through it. I don't know if I could do it, like, completely by myself. It depends who's on. Yeah. Like, there were some that I could just watch by myself. Some yeah. you have to break it up, like, watch yeah, one, just, like, you know. How but, do you dust it up? Like, one, an hour today, Sasa, I wake it, up, they, I hit it. It's all different. It depends <laughs> on the conversation. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It depends, it depends on the conversation. You sound like a, a podcast consumer, like... Because it sounds... You know what? Crazy enough, I'm not really. Not really. I'm not really. Like, I've recently been put onto a few. I love Corner Truth and the Beer. Um, okay. Love this one. Obviously, the sobering is fire. Fire. Um, but I'm not, like, super duper You're in. Not like... I'm not super duper in. Like I was saying to you, like, podcasts are always, like, a bit know it all yeah, <laughs> like, know it only. Yeah, yeah like, you nailed it when you said that too. Mm, they're a bit know it only. I'm more into like TV. Like I'm more into like um, super curated. Like yeah. the lighting, the script. People were here. It happened. It was a. It was a movie. You know, <laughs> like that's that's just like where I come from. Mm. But I can appreciate what you guys are doing, and I think it's important as well. That's fire. Yeah, I think. I think the know it all the energy may come from, I think pod podcasts have mainly been used like primarily kind of to share information, kind of. I guess so. I think they, even in <clears throat> their genesis, so it's beyond entertainment. Were, like, You're actually like watching to like think and learn and like. You'd hope so, yeah. hopefully. Like, because pe there's people who like also don't even watch it, just catch it, you know, in the, the midst snippets of their. On day, culture yeah. collector. <laughs> <laughs> Those you see, we need you see you need that whole culture. You need the blogs, you need the podcasts, you need the you need television, you need like it's like the game has been diced up into like so many more pieces. Yeah. 
Yeah. But do you still believe in like good old mainstream? Like radio, Okozi FM at 11 a.m. Because <laughs> I, I feel like it's different. Like there's like popping, like we know you. Yeah. But then there's like Lady yeah. 2 <laughs> or Okozi FM. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? There's mm. Metro at 3 p.m. It's Hibo Touch running your tone back. Like, you know? Yeah. Like YFM, like True FM, KFM, like um, I guess there's not a lot of there's actually no more music shows. It's so sad. So there you go. There's no more music there's shows. There's your landing right there. Yeah, there's actually no <laughs> so more. So what music does that shows. tell you about what the main, how the mainstream is feeling? Uh, if they're not even housing it, damn. Especially from you, like you're the face of like. Yeah, and I haven't been on TV in years. How how long has it been? I haven't been on TV since before COVID. I think COVID after like shit. That's crazy. A lot of shows ended at COVID and then they never really brought them back. But I think the entertainment was kind of in a weird place when it ended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't you still doing... Yeah, I, I was... You know what? Yeah, one thing still, about me... Still collecting that check. I'm going to hold it down <laughs> till the very end, my baby. You're going to ride it down. Like, die. let's go. Yeah, you know. I fuck with that. Because mm. you said that even... Yeah, it's all right. You said that as well. So that it's resonating as true. Yeah. If it can keep coming up like that. Yeah. So... How do we still see you so much? You're good at what you do, which now I feel like we just, what's the right way to say it? Is it dove or dived? <laughs> <laughs> we just dove right in. Yeah, yeah. Dove sounds atrocious. It does. It's something about it sounds... Wrong, man. Mm. Mm. But we just dived right in. Oh. <clears throat> yes, our sisters. Oh, yeah, just because you wanted to give you a shout out. It's <laughs> 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 Yeah, guys, this is Aya. Do you guys know Aya? Then, Shh, shout out to Aya, man. Sprite he, boys are up. We told them we must make a hoodie also for this show. Because I actually made a, a t-shirt at the other show. That's a sound guy from oh, really? Podcast and Chill. That is yeah. terrible, Aya. I'm so, so glad I didn't know you What? So he must do it for here. Some yeah. guy from chopping it. No, it's okay. He can just collect the check. He must yeah. just, yeah. And now he's getting nice checks. Business. He's hitting the World Cup one now. Oh. Guys, please be sound guys. <laughs> ah, be sound guys. Like, tell the kids there's other jobs. Yes. You don't just have to be Muesli and Zenga. There's so many things that you can do. Ah, yeah, don't but fry the also, kids. also, Muesli, you do a lot of jobs. I do a lot of jobs. You do a lot of jobs. That's what people don't understand about you. Oh. Like, for you to... The first thing I was going to say is you kind of like, well, there's this new term that's going around now. It's like forever famous. You'll forever be famous. Have you seen how people keep saying that? I think you're one of those people. Like, Really? Yeah, I don't think you're like a forever famous type brand. And yeah. I feel like the Muesli brand is social proof. It stood the test of time. Mm. It's social proof. And beyond just being like a famous person that's like a cool person, which I think a lot of people are just trying to do. Yeah, yeah. I actually like work in the industry, but I'm still cool. Yeah. There's levels. Like there's a lot of people in the industry who just work. You don't know them, but they're doing the corporate. They're doing, they're doing like a young stint on SAFM. They like yeah, yeah. host some weird show on SABC One in the middle of the day <laughs> that you'll never see. But they're but working. Work, yeah, they you know jobs, what I mean? Yeah. But they're not like cool. And then mm. you get the people who are like cool. Yeah. Like cool and they're getting all the jobs and they're the guys right now. Yeah, people who are hot right yeah, now. Yeah, but they, like, oh. they can't like actually work. Like you can't actually book them to do like... The you, real work. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm one of those people that's like actually cool, but mm. I do the work too. Yeah. So like people who work with me they buy into the credibility of the brand. Of your delivering. They yes. know you're going to... Like, if, like if Moo said it, I let's listen. Like, it's it's going to be for real. Yeah. There's also another breed that you didn't mention. There's the people who are just famous for being famous. Like, there's people who, who are actually just... Who actually just stand in the space and make it look like they're doing something and then don't do anything. Yeah. The catfish ones. Yeah. Those ones is a nice friend for the lifestyle. Yeah, it's like there's people who are just lifestyling this thing yeah. and it's like it's when you thing, really though. look into it it's and it's like, oh, though. but you don't actually... Hey, man. 
every single part of the body is important, man. <laughs> we are all part of one body. It's okay. I like, I like that. I like which we are. Because mm. it all has a space. Yeah. I try to tap into as many spaces as I can. Yeah, I haven't seen you miss That's ever fine. since you you started. Thank you. At anything you've touched. That's kind of fire. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. That's kind of fire. God is good. <laughs> <laughs> God is good. God is good. <laughs> That's fire. Um, when I was thinking about the chop with you, I'm sorry, I didn't even ask you how you are, but I assume you're doing well. You oh, look good. great, so <laughs> we'll take it from there. Thank you. Right? Um, I was like, you're like a voice of our generation. You've, like, literally, your voice literally has carried us in the past, like, what is it? Is it 10? Yeah. It's 10, eh? Yeah. Yeah, for the past 10 years, in the youth culture, your voice has been there to tell us either to tune in at this time or to whatever it is you're saying, the texture of your voice, your energy has been carrying us. Is like, is that a, did you come up with your voice knowing that your voice is something you want to use like that? Did you um, if, do you even consider your voice as a thing? I've recently been unlocked to how because I've always done voiceovers. I started doing voiceovers at MTV. Like now we're just talking literal, like the actual voice. Yeah, I've always done voiceovers from MTV because we're just part of the contract, like something that I did, like on call. Yeah. So I would do them like all the time, probably like two times a week, mm. Tuesdays at three only on MTV Base. Like yeah. it was always a thing that I did. But then when I left MTV and I just had a, I have an amazing voiceover agent, ONS, he's amazing. Um, and then they were like, no, there's a whole commercial thing. Because you just, you don't even think about it. You're just like in the car or you're watching TV. You don't even think about like the industry behind. <laughs> what it takes to you, put that like thing together. Like a promo, like the graphics guy, yeah. the sound guy, the voiceover artist or whatever. Mm. So texture wise, I never really thought of it. It was literally something that just came as part of my responsibilities as an MTV based presenter. Mm. And that's what unlocked me to it. But in terms of like a voice, I realized that I would need to stand for something if I wanted to like be in the game for mm -hmm. a long time. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the time, Fire. people think like stand for something and I'm figuring it out. Like I'm going through the motions, I'm going to get back to me, like really mm -hmm. like being obsessed with myself. But I realized mm -hmm. that like our culture is beautiful and amazing, but it doesn't speak well for itself. It's not a, it doesn't articulate itself well. It doesn't document itself well. It Ooh, doesn't, yes. you know, it doesn't, it, it is a story. It doesn't tell the story. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, it's just happening. But it's just it's happening, not being, but it's not being told. It's yeah. not being, you know. So I realized that I speak very well. <laughs> I speak very, very well. <laughs> yes, you do. And I'm so inside every day. Like, this is my shit. This is what I do. This is mm. what I love, you know? So being able to realize that I can use the actual God-given amazing texture of my voice that I have and actually, like, stand for other people and, like, mm. communicate this whole thing, that was, like, a big unlock moment for me. That's fire. When would you say that happened? When would you say you realize that? Um... Like, while I was still at MTV, mm. like that SA Hip Hop, that 20, 2014. Of course, come on now. <laughs> you know, that 2014, that like uh, family values, mm. it's kind of republic, you know, that, like that era, yeah. levels, that era. Yeah. Like that era, because I love the Brewers, they were amazing. Mm. Like beyond Keenan. Sort of Keenan was sorry. great to interview. Like, mm. Keenan was the best. He could just speak so well. Like, what he was thinking, yeah. he could tell you. He didn't beat around the bush or ooh and ah and try yeah. to drop a gem. 
not like for no reason. Mm. He just said it the way <laughs> it was. No reason. No, no, obviously for the reasons. And we love the gems. Oh, geez, we love the gems. Please keep dropping the gems. That is hilarious. But sometimes, like the gems are just like dog. Oh, just going just... down the temple. Yes, you know what I mean. <laughs> You, know you just want to keep it up, please. It's just like, yo, it's like, we're on live TV, we've got three minutes, yeah, my baby, give let's, us the go. Sugar. let's go. Let's <laughs> go. You know? Yeah, I feel you. Um, so, yeah, I realized like then, like, I gotta say. Forbes I gotta do was it. always um, industry ready as. As a, so he was a cozy a, FM at 11, okay? The, exactly. Yes. That's why for me, I understood the Michael Jackson tattoo when he got it. I was like, of course. Like, when you look at Forbes, he's start showtime ready. Like, whenever you need him, his day is going to give it to you. Okay, what? Like, that's why even on stage, on the shows, he's it's like... Which you're of the same cloth. You also like, which is, you've been able to like be on big time production for over 10 years. Yeah. And that's because that's what you do. That's your showtime. It's like when they say, okay. Let's go. We're making history right now. No music. Give it to us. Let's, it's like you're let's ready. Let's go, yeah. That's fire. Let's go. Back um, to your voice. Did you grow up with like, a voice that gets complimented all the time or Not what? really complimented. Me and my friend Boosie always used to get fried. This is serve us like a young papa puts a moment. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to fry us like that. Damn. Yeah, I always had like a deep voice, like a husky mm. voice. You still like do. here and there, it would be like, yeah. Then I went through like a cigarette stage and I would like lose my voice. Like I would like smoke cigarettes on the weekend and then I would actually lose my voice and then I'd be frying because like, now I'm interviewing Toya Delays here. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. don't have a voice. It's like, okay, and luckily I was me, so like people got it like, oh, Moose, you were rocking yeah, on the yeah, weekend. Yeah. <laughs> but like actually you're frying. Yeah. Like get it together, my baby. Come on. This is the big time, you know? Yeah, do your work. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah so um, I've always kind of had this voice, mm. but it's changing. It's changing. Mm. I realize, like, even when I do my voice bank, I'd like to update, like, my voiceover situation every year because my voice changes so much. Mm. If, you, if, you're if you listen to it, like, really, really closely, and even when you're recording, you're like, the tone is not the same. Like, mm. no, you have to hit it with the same character as mm. the same, you know? Your voice is very... It's, it's a muscle. That's fine. It's, it's like a journey with your voice. It is. It is. I'm very much into like my talking voice, and I'll do a lot for my talking voice. I'd like to train my like music voice as well, like do singing lessons and like. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, was telling really Uluna, is all like um, I played Uslik a song earlier in the year, and like so I'm like doing something melodic in in it. And then it, when it comes on, I'm immediately like, it, my insecurities. When it comes to the singing shit, for me, I'm like, yo, I still feel like, eh, I'm very eggy on it. It's like, oh, I don't know, I'm not sure. So when the part comes on, I'm like, uh, yeah, no, I think I shouldn't be the one who sings this part. And he I was like, yo, I think just go for singing lessons. And I realized, oh, shit, that is so true. That's Why crazy. haven't I... This is what I do. I'm an artist. I'm a yeah. musician. I use my voice. Why would I not go and... Train the muscle. Yes. Exactly. We should I go. do it professionally. Should we do that? Let's do that. Is that what we're doing? Let's do that. Come on. Let's, Let's do, do that. that. That's fine. So you just bumped into your voice <clears throat> becoming this superpower? That's that's dope. God is good. Mm. Yeah. So what what is the dream then of the little girl? What did she chase? I just wanted to be on Yo TV. I've said this so many times. Because I, yeah. didn't, I didn't think about television as an industry, as a job, as a thing. Oh, I yeah, just yeah. thought they just popped up there at 3 p.m. in the wild room. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that there was a call time. There was yeah. a camera guy. There was a, I didn't even think that the presenters were not the most important part of the whole thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now you're talking, that's big. You know what I mean? That's big talk. Like, yeah. I didn't even think that. So, yeah. by the time I got inside, I was like, oh, snap, we're working. This is a whole yeah. thing. Yeah. That is, yeah. yeah. So, I must say, it was just like, shout out to Sizwe, because Sizwe was obviously like, big bro at yeah, MTV. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, yo, you came up under seas. Exactly. That's fire. So I couldn't like fry. Yeah, like I couldn't fry. Yeah, like I couldn't fry. Gold. Like that's fire. he would not give me a chance to fry. Yeah. Like stop it. That's child. And you know, he doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. Yeah, he, he doesn't party. And he at that time he was so inside the culture. To this day, people are still like. K.O. was still saying interviews, you know, I send my songs to, to like, C's, people yeah. that I trust. Like, I, I may be mistaken, but Sizwe has always been one of those people, yeah. you know? So you can't fry with Sizwe. Like, the one yeah. time I was on the phone with Sizwe, I had called him, and we were on the call for a long time. Mm. It was a long call. My airtime finished. I bought airtime. I called him back. I'm like, yo, sorry, my airtime finished. He was like, how old are you? Like, oh, your airtime is finished. No, no, Muzi, like, umdala, you can't do things like that. Like, blah, blah, blah. Babe, I will not have my airtime finished to this day. Oh, yeah? To That was a... To this your life was day. never the same to thereafter. To this day. <laughs> to this day. Like, remember how he used to, like, That's correct fire. your spelling on Twitter? Do you remember yeah, that he, time? He was very strict. Well, like, too, he, he didn't even need to know you. If he came across your, like, thing, and there was a spelling or a punctuation mistake, he just corrected for you very quickly. He was mm. like that in real life. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember he called me um, when I got into the Claro thing. When I, after I whooped Claro at the club and then it was trending and all that. I was telling somebody about that the other day. That <laughs> Zinger used to like, like he didn't do that. Like he didn't do the Twitter mess. Like if he saw you, it's happening. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're to my bonad. Have you seen that MTV? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw it. MT is also on another <laughs> level right now. But yeah, I think uh, for me that came from at the time I didn't understand the fame thing. I, it didn't. It didn't even click that I was famous for you're me. You're just like you're being rude. Yeah, for me it's like yo, we got disrespects up there, so, and it's like. I saw the lame who disrespected me. I'm <laughs> going to touch that. him up. Yeah, I that's all I know. I that's, that. So that, actually, that instance is what made me realize, I was like, oh, shit, I'm famous. Because the, the whole, how the reaction happened for me was like, wow, what the hell just happened? It felt <laughs> like I just did this wrong like ass thing. Like, yeah, I didn't really like, hurt him like that. Yeah, it's like how I, I didn't just... Fuck about that bad. <laughs> yeah, it was... <laughs> But then C's called me, I was like, yo, that's not they what we do. Yeah, they can't do that That's way. not what we do. Which is ironic, because yeah. he's always on Twitter saying, no, yo, we like, come no. outside, we can oh, really? do it now. What do you mean, oh, really? I'm not on Twitter. At all? I haven't been on Twitter in years. You've never seen C's say, meet me here 4 a.m. at Kaya. Not C's way, no ways. <laughs> come on, you There's don't know no this. There's no ways, not Ask my brother. Ask about him. There's absolutely no ways. Ask about There's him. There's no ways. Yo, That's my big brother. we're going to cut this that clip. That is my big brother. Send- my big brothers are Jesus and C's. <laughs> so <no>, please, <laughs> stop. C's has promised at least 50 niggas <laughs> in Dogo. You lie. I'm telling you. He has sent location For and everything. For what reason? <laughs> For disrespect. No. He, when anybody has tried to take it there with him on Twitter, he has always said, yo, you can meet me here at this time. I'll be there. You don't know this. this is no. <laughs> you see, that's why I can't be on Twitter. It's negative energy. It's too crazy. It's negative energy. But, so, yeah, when I, when, that, when I got into that situation... Because then they were even discussing me on radio. It was like a big deal, kind of. It was like, yeah, it was like, yo, this guy went and... And it sounded crazy then. Because it was like 2012, Twitter was new. So it was like, this guy went and hit somebody because of what he said on Twitter. That's like... like who does that? He's crazy. Yeah, so he called That's why me I had to get off. Because it was just wild for me. It's a and crazy thing is, place. Like, I know these people. I know myself too. Like, how can you guys just say all this random stuff? It's weird. It was just weird for me. And at some point, like, it also has this, like, mood of, like, well, if you can't take it, like, you know, you just have to have thick skin. And, like, my skin is soft, my baby. Like, <laughs> I feel you. It's like, I'm, I don't want to do all no, that. No. Yeah. Like, no. But also that energy of, yeah, no, that's just how it is. And you just had, it's like, when did that become... The script, the yeah. Yo, it tell, so it's just so gonna be mean and horrible, what? and that's cool because it's real. No, it's weird. What are we doing? And we don't know each other. That's the thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, 
<laughs> we don't know each other. That's the concept that also took me a while to grasp. Like, because that's what used to anger me. It's like, I feel like you don't even fucking you know, don't me. know Where, me. Nah. You don't know me. You don't at know all. me. Saying yeah. all this, people yeah. have paragraphs for you, and it's like think pieces. <laughs> Zintle sent me like a video of that um, Spider Man guy who's dating Zendaya. He he was also quoting someone. I don't want to take this as an original. He was quote. what? He was oh, quoting, quoting someone. someone. Okay. So the, the quote said, "Um, if you have a problem with me, send me a text. And if you don't have my number, you don't know me well enough to have a problem with me." Mm, that's fire. Like, that's fire. It, it, like, you that's don't facts. know me. You don't know me. Mm. Like, let her go. Leave it alone. You don't know me. Forget about it. It should not upset you mm. that much. Well, you're just like, ah, ye. Well, you now want to express. Who was in Oh, yeah, right now. Yo, bloody. <laughs> Yo. Who's in jail? For me, it was his hair. When she does yeah. it like this. I, oh, my God. I'm going to tell you a funny story. <laughs> tell me. There's this nigga who's got a problem with me, dog. And he doesn't know me well enough. So I have my number, <laughs> so he could text me. Respect for But my bro said hip hop. He said this track, so I'm just trying to like give him some light right now, cause the song is. I mean, it's not good, but it's not terrible. Wait, he said your what? Said your name on the song? I got a problem with some famous niggas. Hey, I got some problem with some famous bitches. I'm like, I've been pumping it. It's really, really. Is fire. this a real song? This is a real song. It's out. You guys have to check it out. Pro Z, Pro Z, Pro Z. Who's Pro Z? His okay, name is Prozy. Prozy. Yeah, we're His gonna, name is Prozy. We're gonna check so we it out. do, yeah, but it's very rude. I don't like Like, I want you guys to listen to it. There's a lot of disrespect. He says, like, some rude shit about Bianca. Like, don't ever say fucking shit about Bianca. But we're gonna Bianca. let you have your moment. We're gonna let you have your moment. We're gonna let you have your moment. Let's let him have this moment. Bianca? Wait. We're gonna let him have this moment. So, okay. We do Cotton Fest open mic night mm-hmm. um, for people to stand a chance to win a position on the Cotton Fest lineup. You know, it's a really dope thing. Mm. We did it in Cape Town, did it in Joburg, now we're in Durban, first time in Durban. It's amazing. Fine. I am the MC of the night, head girl of Cotton Fest. You already know the vibe. Knocking it out the park. You know? Like, light work. I'm only human. Mm-hmm. I'm doing my thing, I'm doing my thing. You know, at some point in the night, Timber comes to me, he's like, oh shit, you like skip somebody on the list. Like, oh, shit. Oh, yes. Mm, hard is. Sorry, my dog. Fuck, you next. You know? I feel good to the stage. You are a dog. Hard eh? What's your name? Pro Z. How long have you been doing this for? What's your vibe? What are you going to bring to the custom first stage? Yeah. Uh, he does his thing. Uh, he has a situation with the USB. And I'm telling you the story the way it's happening. Mm-hmm. He has a situation in the USB, ah, whatever it fries. But he hits it a cappella, he does his thing. It was dope. Oh, he okay. performed. It was nice. Mm-hmm. Everybody else performed. It was amazing. Lovely. Amazing. Mm. Fun. Uh, this guy comes to me after the show. We take a picture, shout outs, you know. Nice. Lovely stuff. But my two weeks later, we have a tag on an artwork cover. That has a snake <laughs> with me and Bianca and Dr. Pepper. OTJ Simplotele, oh my brother Tina. We planned this shit before the show. We like sabotaged him. You guys and are out for his demise. Most importantly, I'm a skinny bitch. Turned off, Aya. This is. <laughs> This is all being said on record. I got a problem with some famous bitches. Hey, and you got a thousand streams on Spotify. Shout out, my nigga. Like, and I think uh, probably a hundred on me. Because I, I, I like it. Like, you like the joint? I got a problem with some famous niggas. I just didn't like what he said about Bianca. That wasn't nice. And Pepper. Pepper didn't deserve that. Mm. And nor did I deserve it either. He, he's definitely delusional in capping. He'd have to be. But it's not a terrible song. So I just wanted to give him this moment and the shout out. Shout out to Prozy. Shout out to Prozy. Shout out Prozy. <laughs> we see you, baby. Stay Lovely shining. Work. Stay shining, dog. Keep it to yourself next time. <laughs> yeah, niggas must step in as big homies now and start slapping <laughs> these little niggas around when no, they get disrespectful. Do oh, yes. He said we don't That's do that. That's actually what we were talking about. We yes. Do Sorry. We got distracted. Fuck. My bad. Damn. Yes. Mm. But you even bringing that up, like... You didn't just 
Okay, let's talk about you becoming, getting on MTV first. Like, I remember that's when I met you. I met you just before that happened. No? You remember that? Was it before? Yeah, just before. I think, what did you audition for? Oh, before? live. Yeah. Live. I did live, yeah, I did yes. live. I think I, I, I bumped <clears throat> into you somewhere in the streets. Probably. Yeah, in a club somewhere. Yeah. And then... We just spoke, I think. And then mm. I was like, oh, okay, I guess I I know that girl now. Yeah. It was one of those. And then... Yeah, I was in the streets. Like, I was moving with, like, Speedstar, Capital, Makosini, Full Play Media, mm. ALS, Icon. We were out there. You were intentional about, like, being there. I really was. I really was. That was new to me. That's fire. I really, really yeah. was. I didn't just like... I mean, there was definitely nights and stuff that I did for fun. Mm. But like the weird thing that people now are doing of like, yeah, let's go out because we want to be seen. Like back then when you're like not actually in the game, it really was a good way to meet people. Mm. Like you actually mm. met the right people at those parties, mm. at those events. Like you yeah. would actually meet people who may not be able to like directly tell you about something that would like happen, but they would know of somebody who maybe knows about something. And if you can have the right conversation, yeah, you would like unlock. And you're always ready to start conversation. Like you're... I've gotten shy over the... Maybe I don't need to start as many conversations as I did back then. Yeah. But yeah, I was always just like, hey, what's up? I was always like so easy. Mm. I've always been like super chill. Yeah. What, like, so presenting just did it or what? Not a dream, just on the way, did it on the way? I wanted to just be on your TV. Like, I didn't think of presenting as, like, an actual job. Mm. So by the time I was, like, 18, 19, I realized I'm probably not going to get on your TV because I'm, like, old yeah, now. Yeah, because your TV, you missed it. Exactly. So why did you keep going? Because I didn't, I just liked it. Yeah. Like, I just liked it. You fell in love with the thing And itself. also the content I started watching was becoming different, you know. I was, like, mm. watching now. There was Bonang on live, and there was, like, you know, all these different types of shows. There was, like, Go and Channel Low. There was Not Let's Hema. There was KB. Oh, you know shit. what I mean? So, um you started seeing things like a bit differently. Like even seeing Zizo Beto go from like Miss Teen to like being on Selima Tunzi. That was yeah. just like, oh, okay. You can switch up and like, mm. you know, th there's like other things to look forward to. Like you're not a kid anymore, baby girl. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then you did then see it as something that you could get into and... Yeah, because the more I audition for things, the more mm. I realize. That's why by the time I did MTV, there was no one who was going to beat me. I had done too many auditions. I had learned too much. Yeah. Like I was, I, I just, I, I would add skill you, you know? You were like a popular face on the audition line. Yeah. Like you'd even be the there talking had, and... Exactly. Like you I'd were just that done live. There. So a lot of people were just like, no, it's not fair. She just did live. Why is she doing this one? You know, and then there were other people who were just like, oh my gosh, this girl is so resilient. Like, after, like, publicly, like, not getting that job. Mm. You know, a lot of people, like, apply for jobs privately and then you don't get it and it's fine. You and, can continue mm. with your life. Like, now it's just you and somebody else and the whole country knows that you didn't get the Everybody's job. Everybody's watching. There was somebody else who was better than you, my baby. Sorry. In real life. You know what I mean? Damn. Like, that could really, like... Mm. Mess with your mind a bit, but I was just like, well, I don't really know how to do anything else. Conja, that's what? That's the one, what, Loot Love one? Yeah. Oh, shit. And you were second exactly. run up, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. And. But it always happens like that. Like, even in my um, MTV based search, mm. uh, Naledi, who's on BT now, and mm -hmm. Nomzamo. Were, we were in runner the top ups, three. yeah. And Nomzamo, Shaga Ilebe, amazing. <laughs> lovely work, right? Ha. Yeah, she's also been a beast for the past ten years. Dog, ten also, years. yeah, ten also years. another one who has who came in around that time and has stayed up there killing it since. Uh -huh. Um, how did you stay? Because if you wanted it and were chasing it since, like trying to do your TV, how did you stay on it and not let not being chosen in all the auditions like deter you from still? going out there I guess I just really really wanted it like I didn't I, I guess I didn't beyond wanting it I didn't want anything else maybe that's actually a thing to say 
that's a thing to say. Ooh, because that, that's a big difference. That's a big difference. Yeah. It, it, maybe it wasn't that I, oh, like, I wanted it so bad. I didn't mm. want anything else. Yeah, so I just, eyes, no. okay. Because now I want to see your soul. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tequila. Yes, kicking in. Welcome. Um, Wait. yeah, I just I uh -huh. I didn't want anything else. I don't know how to do anything else. I feel like this year has also been testament to that. Like this year was almost like the worst year ever. Okay. Like how? terrible. Everyone was dying. Was shit. Work was shit. Contracts were suffering. It was just a bad year. I was just not in a good place. I was just like suffering. Damn. And a lot of people don't know that because they just said, but you're still showing up. You're still doing your thing. I don't uh -huh. know how to do anything else, guys. It's like in 17. Yeah. Do and you know what I mean? On, you've got it on autopilot at this stage. Like, exactly. Showing up is easy. That's it's what I like, do. You just have to show up. Like, you just mm. have to. You got to go to work. Even if you don't want to go to work. Right. You got to go to work. And I just have the blessing of being so aligned with my purpose in life, my work is so aligned with my purpose in life that yeah. I can just keep doing it and keep showing up. But I just, I've never wanted to do anything else, mm. to be honest. And you didn't even find doing anything else as an option at all. I mean, now I'm doing a lot of things mm. that like 19-year-old me would have probably been like, no. Like I work in an office. Yeah. Like on Tuesdays, I wear like office work. That's like fine. meeting outfits like places, yeah, the office shirts. a bit like Why? I've had moments where I feel like I don't know there's it's something about because <clears throat> I also got to a point where I felt like I like to do more like I've done what I do I'd like to even this for instance that's yeah. that's me tapping into I just want to do more things yeah. it's not even that deep for me it's not like I, I was trying that. to start the greatest podcast in <laughs> SA or, yeah. no oh, I just want to do more saw it things coming. and in the beginning I was just like <laughs> <laughs> you said everything right I there I, I heard like, it I felt that. Okay. I felt that from. I felt and it was that also from. It's happening everybody. at a time where like a lot of people were like doing yeah. the podcast thing, like, <laughs> starting the podcast. But mm. you, you, you're doing it. You're doing it. Thank you. And you're picking the right guests and the on time, and that's fire. You're asking the right questions and you also let people talk. Uh, yeah, people had to shout at me in the comments at first. Really? Yeah, in the earlier episodes. That's great. It was like, yo, man, you're saying too much. That's great. <laughs> like, so then I was like, oh, okay, let me try and... That's great. ...let people rock out without me. No, that's good. Mm. That's really, really good. But my intention was always to try and make it less of an interview, more of a conversation. So I feel like if I share my own things, then people get from you, from me. Yeah. So is it just on YouTube? Yeah, well, now we're on Spotify, no? Yeah, yeah you got to tap into the Spotify thing. Yeah, we're on Spotify now, hopefully. No, but like, literally, the thing is like, all of these things and all of these platforms are people that you can call mm. and like, do really amazing things with. And Fire. I think Spotify is one of those <coughs> platforms that really takes podcasting so seriously. Yeah. From like, how they've incorporated it into like, greasy tunes, like for every genre and um, even what they're doing with the DSCV Content Creator Awards. Mm. Like, trust me, tap in. They need culture. They need, they need cool kids yeah, like us. I need you to teach me. Like, you gotta, like, my nigga, you gotta You've tap, like tap in. You've, like, done a brand, big business for 10 years. Like, for you to even speak that way comes from your experience in yeah in the industry at the top. Just, oh, okay, no, Muzi, super cool. We're gonna have you come do this for us. And then you get the... And do it. Take your check and go home. Yeah. But I mean, just working, especially with Era by DJ Zinkley, I work as the creative director for the brand. So it's taught me like a lot on the corporate mm, end fire. of like building a brand. Mm. And shout out to Zinkley. She's a beast. Like she's a, a super beast. She's crazy. I'm a huge Zinkley fan. Like, Aren't we all? Yeah. We are, man. <laughs> we, we all, all are, are. <laughs> We all are. We all are. We all are. Like, she's, she's amazing. A, yeah, she is. Yeah. She's a powerhouse. Yeah, so she's taught me a lot. And like working with that brand, like, has taught me so much about like selling yourself. And mm. like actually, 
I was saying this to somebody the other day. Somebody had asked me in DM, like she had done pageants for a long time and now she wants to just transition and be an mm -hmm. um, influencer, you know? Yeah. So I was like, that's great and well. Like everybody can be an influencer, but like you need to understand that <clears throat> you are offering a service mm. Mm. to brands. I think a lot of people sell themselves and not the service that their business can bring. Ooh, okay. You know, in terms of reaching an audience, in terms of creating a look that is actually believable and authentic. You know, like, Sprite is, like, cool and everything, but, like, Sprite endorsing Casper in your vest and also Casper in your vest endorsing Sprite, like, it just makes it more credible. Like, the brands speak to each other and they do things for each other that the other couldn't do, you know. Casper definitely does not have the capabilities to, like, print cans and, you know, he can't mm. always shoot a world-class music video mm. and he can't always, like, be on billboards and, like, that, as an independent artist, mm. that's very, very expensive. Yes. But he does have a name, he does have a brand and he does have an audience and he has a community that, although Sprite can say, like, yo, it cost us... Four million to put your face on these cans and whatever and the, the formula and all of this mm. like for him to like be the face and introduce you to his people and endorse your brand that also goes into the millions you know it's really sad that as yeah. people we can't quantify what we do yeah. do you know what I mean like to like an actual value like if we could come to the True. table and say I'm putting a five million rand check on the table because that's what the engagement with me costs like, brands are taking on the hard costs, yes, but, like, you have the service that you can provide mm. in reaching people that, like, people can't do on their own. Yeah, that's that's not cheap. It's that's not, not free. It's not free. Yeah. But you have to take it seriously and do it well. It's beyond, like, just... <laughs> just <laughs> going up. <laughs> you know? Like, that's cool. Mm. That's cool. <clears throat> Like that is cool. Like that is cool. Like that's cool. That's, that's, that's cool. cool too. Yeah. That's cool. That's what we're doing. But, but like, if you wanna like work. But get to work. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite job, out of all these jobs? Because you just counted that job, and I just realized. I remember there's. I have a lady, of course. So, you know, she's watching Zindler's show, and. I love her, so I'm sitting right next to her. This is how I end up watching the show. <laughs> I'm not watching. Guys always hit us with that one. Guys always hit us with that one. No, don't be a mechanician. I'm not fair to like. I can't say I'm the one. And the thing is, that show used to play Saturday at like 7 p.m. So, you know, you're just sitting nicely with the dollies that bomb at 10, 11. I'm here, say. I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. And I saw you saying that you're the, say it again? Creative director. Of her brand. Mm. I was like, damn, that's a, that's a big title. <laughs> yes. Up. Thank you. That's a big title. Like, is, are you most proud of that job? Um, Out of all the jobs you've had? I've always wanted to be a part of a jewelry brand. Like, if you know me from, like, back then, I used to wear, like, things on my thighs and, mm. like, like, hanging. Like, I've always really loved jewelry. But I was very intimidated by what it would take to actually start my own brand. But I realized, like, I don't have to have my, my own brand to have an influence and an impact and actually, like... Fire. Make bank off a jewelry brand, you Talk know? That shit. And I think like the era brand is it, it's bigger than <laughs> us at this point, I have to be honest. It's bigger then than us. It's are, really man. crazy. It's really crazy. It's growing in such a beautiful and amazing way. Um mm. it's a lot of responsibility. It's an mm. office job. But it's mm. also like a family business, you know. So we feel like we have to Fire. show up for each other. We have to make sure that we do the best that we can. And beyond the people within the business, the people who support the brand, like your lady, like, I mean, people like your lady. Yeah. Brilliant, beautiful, amazing people who are ambitious, mm. who are doing their own thing, who are conscious about the choices that they make. Mm. And we are a choice that they make. And that's something that we're very, very proud of. And we just, we're just really trying to kill it. We just really that's trying fire. to take it to the next level. <laughs> that is so far. And for me, like, I'm really proud to be a part of something that's actually influencing culture. Like, not in a, mm. 
kind of way, mm. like in a real <laughs> bank roll. I can mm. show you the numbers. I can tell you where these people stay. Mm. I can tell you how much they were spending. Like real numbers, like real, That's like fire. something that I can really take to the bank. Mm. You know, something that I can really use to like change my family's life. I think that's amazing. You even speak like a creative director. Like, yeah. That somebody whole spiel was like, just so. <laughs> yeah, somebody was like, do you feel like the Virgil Abloh of Era? I was like, no, I feel like the Mosley of Era. And I Come really feel like that. Like, that's I fire. really feel like I'm Mosley. Like, yeah. you I'm, tap in. Oh, I'm glad you bring that up. So, do you study? What you do, like you tap into other people that that have done what you did. You just brought up a name like Virgil. Yeah, Abloh. yeah, Virgil. I mean, what's so great about Virgil is he left stuff that we can actually read and learn from. He was amazing, but mm. I think the biggest. I'm very big on references. The okay. biggest reference for me right now is Tiana Taylor. Fire. She's yeah. yeah Tiana yeah. is the reference right yeah. now. I don't know you how could, she. You could go toe to toe. I, I, I think mean, you could. I could. I would yeah. love to just. Learn, you That's know, fire. like not even to so just like learn because she's doing like a lot of cloth. amazing things. Shout out, yeah, yeah. So, what do you want to do with that? Do mm. what she does with it? I think it's a really amazing way to like be in the culture, service the culture, and still make bank because sometimes, <laughs> like, you know, the culture yeah. will just leave you hungry. Yeah, if it's strictly culture, then it's... You know, you will suffer, but if you I can... I learned that the hard way. Gosh, but we all do. The real nigga it one. It's like, oh, it I thugged it out quite cool. Let I should have been doing business. Let it go. Yeah. It's okay. Charge it to the game. Charge it to the game, no? Charge it to the game. And just then get to the business. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I just think it's like a dope way to like still be in the culture, but like still do my thing, you know? And I've always been a person to like celebrate what other people are doing while still doing my thing. Yeah. Yeah. So never it's like been a, a hater. Dope. No, never been a hater. That's fine. Damn. Who else is? Uh, who else are your angels? Like. So I'm saying this because sees I'm seeing as one that touched you and influenced you in a certain way. Zintla seems to have touched uh-huh. you, influenced you a certain way. Is there anybody else? A lot of people. That has moved you. Yeah, come on. You've been out here a for a while. A lot of people. There's too many. Like, Tell there's us. too many. There's too many. Come on, the um, most impactful. Like, people have touched me in different ways. Like, small or big, but, like, always left a lasting thing in my mind. Mm. Um, you know, Keenan was always a very big influence for me. Like, I've already spoken on how Facts. he just, like, unlocked me. He was great. Mm. I think now... Maybe not so much. Maybe I wasn't so cognizant of it when he was alive. Mm. But Ricky is like the blueprint for me right now. Yeah. I don't know how he does it because he's, yo, these kids, my nigga, like, <laughs> these kids. The kids are not. Yo, but so, and they believe in you so much and you have to show up, you yeah. know? Um, but it's a lot. Ricky. Amazing. Yeah. Ricky. Ricky, definitely. Um, Ma'i. That's fire. Like, about the just level That's of... That's fire. Uh, just, just relax. So the level of just relax and do your thing. Mm. And even just me respecting the dance, because we were talking about like music and if you're going to get back to music, I'm like, if I do it, I'm going straight back to the dance dog. Ma'i mm. told me that thing. It's like, yo, you always just need to look and sound like where you come from. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Maybe even if the look, you can take it to the next level and serve yeah, a nice yeah, yeah. Euro, Americano, whatever. Yeah, but I was going to question In terms that, of like, when you talk, mm. come on, the blonde hair, it's giving my pass, like I don't lie. Yeah, no, come on. <laughs> yeah, very much. Don't lie. Very like, much. And I've like, you know, I've transitioned the gold tooth. Like just, you know, it was at the era store That's in Durban. Fire. One thing we related to was the stuff on the teeth and they all had gold teeth. And it was amazing. And I've tried grills, but I always lose them. So I like the... F- so what is that? These are Swarovski crystals. What, is, what does that mean? It just it's means they're crystals and they're shiny and they stick them on your teeth with the same glue that they use for gra- braces. Okay. Yeah, so you can so keep you them for a while. So you got those on every day? I got them on every day. That's fire. Those <laughs> are your teeth every day? <laughs> yeah. 
Come on, guys. I want to be as cool as y'all. <laughs> I want to live like this too. <laughs> yeah, like, but he really just told me, like, father, like, we Keep can't. Keep it real. Joe. Like, yeah. we'll pretend. It's one of the Joe. realest like, really, of you know all what time. I mean? Like, don't, don't front. Like, mm. so kasala. Like, don't pretend. Because what's going to happen? Uzo popa. Or pretend, and then you have to be that person for the rest then of your life. Then you have life. to commit to exactly. And my baby, you're gonna get tired. Yeah, my baby. seen that the thing. No? I'm telling you. Mm. I'm telling you. That's so there's true. like a lot of different scoop. <gasps> scoop. Scoop was actually as a presenter. Scoop actually made me realize that Come it's on. not just Sifo and CC and there's also Scoop. Oh, see, there's also another breed. Yeah, yes. he opened it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Talk and about I think it. he Facts. also unlocked the fashion level. Because Facts. Scoop isn't like, he's not like, and he's very intentional with his content. He is. Like he is. Yeah. He always has been from whatever he puts out. You know, he's very intentional with how he's perceived and what he looks like. But he unlocked that thing for me. Like mm. me, I'm like showing you the fit on a Tuesday. On a yeah. when I eat. So yeah, when I every day. For this? Babe, the even when I thing? did the MTV based video search, mm. we we're all sitting there. There were 14, was the top 14. We went around the room. Who is your favorite presenter? Babe, maybe there were some people. And the thing is, it was such a room of kids who were like actual presenters who like wanted to like be in the game mm. that the people who was everybody's favorite and Scoop was like 10 out of 14. Yeah, like scoop, scoop. magazine for me. Like scoop, yeah. it was scoop. Bonang Mateba, uh, Jenny D. Jenny D is top billing. Oh yes, babe, that lady was always excited. It didn't matter where that lady was. Like we are just here. Yeah, she's the classic. Is just like babe, walking <laughs> shots, like technical presenting, taking it to the next level. Come on, like yeah. And then there was like maybe one other person. Like, who was a dope vibe? But it was Scoob. Scoob, no? It was Scoob. Like, Scoob... Scoob changed the game, Scoop actually. Because what happened Scoop to the game the only after. person... Guys, I am a rapper, but I would never, ever open the link with Skanda Quizas, New Age Mabizas, 740 Feezas, Riding with North Keezas, Welcome to V... Like, that guy would do... Jay-Z, guys, this is live television. <laughs> he would do verses... Censor himself, but still tell you what we were watching, where we are going to, what the Twitter handle is, what you need to do, what, like... Come on. No. Come on. No, my baby. Talk it was about a it. different level. Come on. It was a different level. And then you get those, like, alternative people who were, like, crazy, but still did the thing. Denise Zimba... Is actually... A Guys, legend, actually. Denise was a crazy presenter, like giving me Vimesh, like that Vimesh run level was actually of like fire. acting, but mm. we're presenting, but we're acting. Like that lady would jump in the pool. Yeah, that, that character lady would, like, was. She was hectic. Yeah, she's she's up there. That yeah, was, that was fire. No, she was really really hectic. But like, yeah, that was those were the references. Vimesh too. Vimesh? Vimesh, ne? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Vimesh! Let's, let's be for real. Babe! Come on. And the thing is, Vimesh would always talk to them at the Jam Eli table like, oh, must I took shoot, I'm gonna need. Like, you just always <laughs> felt like that. You just felt like, yeah. oh, these people, they were together. Like, you would only see them on Silly Matsoons. It's not like us now. Like, yeah. I'm gonna go out to dinner with my friends tonight and you guys are gonna be there with us. You're gonna see what we're gonna eat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you're gonna be there for every shot. Boomerang. Woo! It wasn't like that back then, and these people mm. still made us believe. Like these people yeah, still now. made us like really feel it, you know. But yeah, shout out to Scoop, man. Shout out to Scoop, man. Yo, yo. Both him and Sis of mm. that space. Yeah. Sis more as a producer, man. More as a businessman, or what? Um, what the seeing the two of them together made me realize is that. Talent is talent and it's amazing and it's brilliant and it's intuitive, it's undeniable. That's exactly what Scoop had. Mm. He was just like touched by, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, he had thanks. that thing. But Sizwe made discipline and hard work a talent. Ooh. He made discipline, hard work and respect a talent. Thanks. That was his talent. Yeah. 
Facts. Yeah. Big facts. Yeah. And that's... So maybe that's what I did. I tried to like put both of them together. You did, yeah. Because you've done... You've kept it together. Damn. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna spill and then I'm like, nah. Let me not spill. Don't be too know it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be too podcasty. Exactly. <laughs> Damn. So, you got bored of just the presenting handle. It wasn't boredom per se. There's still... It wasn't boredom oh, per se. It was just a need to... No, you. no. It was a need to express myself further. Okay. Because I realized, like, this is nice and it's cool. Like, you know, yeah. I can be here. But, like, if I really want to be in the inside of, like, what's happening, I have to leave with those guys. Like, when those guys say we live in the body, like, I gotta leave the body. Yeah. You know? And I would have to stay and do the link and then I always have to, like, go in the crowd and talk to, like, who's yeah, ban yeah. Bani, <laughs> give away your bucket head, see? Like, you know, some weird things. And then also, not weird, but, like... Yeah, yeah. Just, like... Oh. Rookie shit. Yeah. And then, <laughs> also, what would happen is... The channels that I worked for, first of all, if you're on a big channel, you can't fuck around. Mm. Like, you can't go to the club and get crazy. You can't, like, date some famous guy and you guys are, like, kissing at the club. <laughs> and you can't be hectic. Like, you can't be hectic. Yeah. You need to relax. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because tomorrow is, like, the MTV base. Africa Awards in wherever. And mm. you have to be you at the press conference. There as well. And there's, like, BBC. There's all these people. And... Like, you can't fry. Damn. You know you can't fry. Yeah. That and a lot of stuff that happens on these channels is sponsored. And the channel gets the money. Mm. So MTV will do a clip drift premium, what's what smooth session show. And you're mm. the presenter under one contract. Mm. You know, Vuzu will do like a, a Picardi, what's what, what's what, what's what. Mm. They get money, but you're the presenter under one contract. You know, so you don't get the money. So you are trying to, in your own personal capacity, negotiate things for yourself. Like you want to be the face of, let's say, Costa Light. Mm. But MTV is running a I'm Still Music Nights every Friday at 6, brought to you by your girl Moosley. Mm. That doesn't work for your individual capacity, you know. So I realized that I had to build my profile to like speak more to me. Mm. as an individual and express myself like that way and presenting was cool but like as an artist you can just say whatever the fuck you want so that's how I was like yeah I'm gonna be a rapper so you need a dead uh, you need a dead escape cause like we get more leeway it's like oh yeah he's a rapper yeah. that's what rappers do exactly. yeah, you can just say nah eat and eat and yeah, it's yeah. like oh exactly mm. yeah, so I but if you just a presenter it's like no no behave exactly that's wrong, okay, my baby. Okay, I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. So then you become one. How? I'm assuming, obviously, you've told the story a million times, but uh, what is that a real thing for you, or what are you just stumbling into that? No, I've never thought. And I, I mean, I have. They were like, I remember when I used to do a lot of MTV shows. I used to be in Durban a lot, so I'd see Tira, and we'd always like talk about like, yo, you have to like. Do music, you know, you must come to Afro, like you must do yeah. music, you know, with Mampincha and everyone. But it just seemed like a thing to like talk about. Yeah. But VG worked as DJ Vigilante. He worked mm. as a music compiler. Mm -hmm. So he would be the one who would like put the music videos onto the channel. Yeah. At, that's what he did. So he was in the office every day. Obviously, I was a presenter. So he was then with Cash Time and he was like, yo. I've seen you hosting these shows, obviously, because we do all of these live shows and I would be the host and I'm like hosting, but like rapping and singing along and performing and shaking mm. my ass and doing my thing. Come on now. So Viju was like, dog, you got to be an artist. Like, you should do it. And I was like, yeah, nigga, no, I should mm. totally be an artist. Like, I should do that. He's like, come on, you got to join Cash Time. You know, we're doing Cash Time. It's KO. It's like all of these guys. Mm. We're doing it. You must like be a part of it. So I was like, yeah, okay, Fiji, yeah. Like, let's do it. Do you <laughs> yeah, know? you're just going with it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so then there was like, and I told the story before, but like there's this Durban July party that happens. Mm -hmm. I think it's like a head honcho party. Mm. And then Fiji was like, yeah, come to the party, meet the guys, you know, see what the vibe is. Like when they pulled up to the party, 
yeah. I was like, I'm in. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm in. Like, you know that one, like, when it's like, when the party's like almost awkward and you're like, ah, then it gets nice, but you're like, there's still something that's going to happen. Mm. Then these guys arrive, like KO, Kid Eggs, Mugs, my E. Yeah, with all those gems. Babe, with the head honcho, like, swag, like, mm. you know, the high socks, everything. I was like, I'm in. That's like happening. I'm doing this. Like I'm going in. Fire. Like it's happening. <laughs> That's fire. Yeah, and then I met with them. I think we all came back on the Monday. I met with them on the Tuesday. Mm. And then I was in. Were you nervous about the rapping at all? Or you were just for you it's just another thing? I hadn't done it before, so Yeah. I don't know if that made me nervous, like I didn't have a reference. And yeah. there was no, uh, that's actually also what made me do it, is that I didn't feel like there was a reference point. There were girls in the game and they were like doing their thing, you know? Mm -mm. They were doing their thing, but I didn't feel like there was a dust level where like a palace I could really relate. Yeah, it didn't exist. Like, I didn't feel like there was somebody who could feel like, that's, it's us, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 it's us, you mm. know? So mm. that made me feel very confident. And the fact that it hadn't been done before yeah. made me feel like I have to figure it out. I'll be the blueprint. Like, I'll make it happen. That's fine. So that didn't make me nervous. Also, <clears throat> I didn't feel super nervous because I knew I had the gods to guide yeah. me. So you just jumped straight in the deep end and... Immediately. Just started swimming. You didn't even think about it. That's fire. And then <laughs> did well. Yeah. Have hits, have been... Yeah. That's fire. No, the gods put me on Shem. Shout out to all yeah. of them. They taught me a lot. And then they even taught me how to listen to music. Like, Muggs taught me how to listen to Drake's, like, Drake's music. Because mm -hmm. it would just be like, I will just listen to songs. Like, listen to songs. Yeah, yeah. But Muggs taught me to, like, listen to, like, the doubles and the triples yeah. and the switch What's up being and said. Like, you mm. know, like, the way a song is constructed. Yeah. Yeah. And the more, every time I hear a song and I don't think about those things, I'm like, this is a good song. Because <laughs> I'm not thinking about like, because what's it like, That's no. Fire. And Zintle also, like, what makes That's DJ Zintle record so say. amazing? If you think about all her records, Umli Lo, like, mm. Indlovu, arrangements. Mm. Like, music is such a familiar thing that you do every day. You almost want to feel like you know where it's going. And like Zintle's songs, the drop is where you want it to be. The Build up mm. is where you want Serving. it to be. Arrangement. Mm. She's going to kill me for telling you guys, but that's the secret. Arrangement. <laughs> Arrangement. Like, yeah. arrange a song the right way, and you're, like, going to be good. And the guys, like, taught me, like, those little That's a fire things. gem, yeah. I mean, yeah, it changes when you become... When you start doing something, you can no longer perceive it the way that you did when you were still just a consumer. Because mm. then you know how it works. So you judge the work of the art instead of just enjoying. But I guess if you can, then just enjoy I without judging the art, then it's a... Uh, that reminds me of a crazy Bible verse I read this week. Share, please. Uh, can I find it? Yeah, yeah, come on now. I don't want to misquote the Bible. You don't want to do that. Drinking tequila and you guys are going to say... Yeah, it's oh, called wow, blasphemy, wow, wow, wow. is what they it's call it. It's not blasphemy, guys. Jesus knows us. We don't only become God's children on Sunday in the two hours that we're in church. Mm -hmm. Then the rest of the time, we just like... It's us. No, God knows us. It's okay. Yeah, true. It's that okay. doesn't mean we can be blasphemous. No. Uh, we, <laughs> we can must keep really... the truth the truth. No, like you can live your life. It's okay. Yeah, of it's course. It's okay of course. to have a little drink with your friend. Do a podcast. It, it is. It's all it's love. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, I can't I find agree. it. But essentially, the premise of the verse was, you know, when you are a believer and when you read the word of God, mm -hmm. it's like something that you need to take on and live holistically. Mm. Otherwise, mm. you are deceiving yourself. If you just like go and read it and you're like, oh, cool story, bro. Mm. And then you go do whatever it is that you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, you're like deceiving yourself. Yeah. You are like a person who looks in the mirror and then as soon as they walk away, they forget what they look like. Because when you look in the mirror, you like, you see, you're like, oh, snap my hair. Let me brush my hair. Mm. Let me fix my tea. And then you walk away and you live with that knowledge of like, okay, I fixed myself up like I'm okay, you know? Mm -hmm. So just do the word, believe the word. But it's okay to have a drink, guys. 
<laughs> it's really okay. Yeah, still live it up though. That's fine. When did you start reading? Are you an avid reader of the word or what? I mean, I'll do it daily verse a day. I wouldn't lie. I verse wouldn't. a day? Verse consistently? A day. Yeah, consistently. Come on now. Mm. That's fine. Come on, download the Bible app. Everybody download the Version Bible app. I've got it. When I, I get the verses, sometimes I... I, don't, I hit it without the notifications even. Like when you first get it, definitely you can get notifications and that's fine. Yeah. But at some point, it, the word should transform you so much that you actually want to know more. So you're a transformed lady sitting here? When did the word transform you? Tell us your story. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your transformation story. I mean, I don't know when like the exact moment happened, but like you just get to a point where you're like, I believe what God has to say about me more than anyone else. So mm. I always want to know more. In a weird way, it's like I'm... So you don't remember the first truth you heard? I mean, I grew up in the church. Oh, so it's... Yeah, automatic. like, and the thing was, like, then oh, it was just, fire. it was just a thing that was done on Sundays. I won't lie, I didn't like. And there were points where I couldn't even hear. Um, this, like, that's why I would like assume you'd was, remember the first time. Okay, maybe not the no, first time. No, like, I don't know. Like, my sister once took me to church. I had a very big fight with my boyfriend. I was like, you have to come and pick me up. She was like, okay, but I'm going to church. Mm. Said, so, listen, I'd rather go to church. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd rather go to church. Yeah, and then I just kept going to church. <laughs> I haven't been in a while, I have to be honest. I haven't yeah. been in a while. I was a little bit upset with God. Not upset with God, but it was just like, I was confused about a lot of things. So mm. I like, I just have tried to find him in my own ways that make sense for me. Yeah. And like sometimes the work life, everything balance of a Sunday morning is hectic. But yeah. my church does have like online, which has ruined me. But yeah, because then you just want to chill out and like I can hit it from, it the, from the bed. The crib. Yeah, but I don't yeah. even silly get out of bed. That's really, really crazy, yeah. you know. And that's the verse of the day thing. I was like, one of the first things I do in the morning. Yeah. Like I'll wake up, go into the toilet, get back into bed, read the verse of the day. Sometimes that's I even like read it on the toilet, depending on how quickly I need to get up. Yeah. Yeah. You I have like to that. do it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a fire routine. Like I, I think. I well less now because my days are a bit busier and like it's a bit more of a because of the music and the podcasting it's like ah but like when I was still cultivating the energy too I was like waking up I know I'm hitting a sermon in the morning about during breakfast I need that hour hit the sermon and then you I know take I'm charged a full up sermon. a full sermon like That's on a wild. daily <laughs> on a daily that level. is hectic yeah I was I was dead locked in I was just it was my favorite like content to consume still is kind of because that speaks to who you actually are yeah yeah it does and I think that's why sometimes when you're not in the right place you receive it it just seems like because yeah, you're not just ready talk. to like yeah. it's not just talking like it's frying you like sometimes I'll read the verse of the day I'm like okay God is dragging me today mm, like facts. like fetching you mm. like telling you see, we'll that's see. wrong my baby we're moving like this you know when I've dipped you up on like, a crazy level yeah yeah but I mean you really have to lock in like this week I went back to Bible group which was very very nice that's fire like what the with the Bible study meetings yeah, and all Cabello, that. you know, Cabello. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bua his, Two Shoes, guys. Bua Two Shoes is my coach. Babe, like, like him and his wife, shout out to them, amazing. They literally host this really beautiful. stunning, intimate Bible group. And it's not like Bible group, like, we you reading like a thousand Bible verses? Like, you know, <laughs> like not in that intimidating kind of way. Yeah, yeah. Like somebody shares, and funny enough, this week, do you know who shared? Oh. They might kick me out of the group. But Don Design. I don't know what we're allowed to share. Oh, lovely, share. lovely. Babe, lovely. Don Design shared such an amazing word on God and his abundance. Wow. And Don's word was, God doesn't only have one to give. God is a God of abundance. Remember his good stories. We get so caught up in the what's not happening. I've got this that I need to make happen and I don't know how the fuck I'm going to make it happen. So like now I'm stressed out mm. because you're trying to do it yourself and you don't realize that you have the things that you have, the opportunities that you have because God put you there because he's done it before. Mm. 
Like God is an abundant God. He doesn't have one to give. Mm. The chance is consistent. Like he doesn't have like he doesn't mm. have one to give. Ukwada ka fanje ngathi ukuthi hey ngilinika yey eyokugcina le and enqulu ubuyisa ngoba if I ubuyisa and manje singexabana now because you didn't bring it back. God is not like that. That's not the relationship. God is an abundant God. Like mm. he has so much to give. It was a nice reminder mm. like I forgot that like my God is a king. Like my dad. Come on now. My dad is a king. Talk that like shit. I'm a rich kid. Yeah. Like I, I'm I'm very practical with my relationship with God. I like to bring it, it back it's to better like that way. Like I, if you think about it like that, like God is your father. Yeah. He's rich as fuck. Yeah. And he loves and you. And daddy can do it all. Whatever. Daddy can do it all. <laughs> like, whatever. Daddy can do it all, nigga. Like. If you say, daddy, I was thinking about it. It's like, oh. But when I was just so <laughs> thinking that Get maybe. There. If maybe, father, you trusted me, I could. No. No, it's like, daddy, daddy. Like, dad, like, I want a bike. Yeah, come on. Like, remember when you were a kid and you yeah. were just like, I want a bike. I deserve it. Come yeah. on, give it to me. Yeah, it was a nice reminder. That's fire. That actually hit me like a couple years ago. Like that very perspective of actually seeing him as my actual father. Like I saw the coming, he had to come in and scoop me from some fuck shit. I had gotten myself into <laughs> some fuck shit. Because I've always been troublesome like my whole life. And so I was in trouble and it's like you know when you're in trouble literally saw him swoop in and just like smooth it out and I was like, like your dad damn like, <laughs> like I'm your like, dad and it clicked I was like damn that's pops for real like, like that's actually your father he's just gonna he's gonna pull up there if you call and say yo that's who the smoke that's how Jesus is your big brother yeah yeah yo! And what a keeping... swag big brother. Oh my God. <laughs> what an epic big brother. That's my favorite nigga, by the Dude, way. Like, Jesus. he'll kill himself for you? Come on now. Come on. Man. Like there's nobody's going to do that for you. I don't want to lie to you guys. I'm going to do a lot. Because you could have smoked those niggas. Babe, I'm going to pull up. Like I'm going to be there. But like, but to actually my go out life? And say. I don't you, know. That's going too far, no? Yeah. Yeah. I remember saying to my girls, like, it's like the reminder that every year, like when Easter comes, it's like, clean slate once again. It's like, like what you're saying about the abundance. It's like, yo, it's always there. It's like, there's always the reminder. No, it's... Yeah. The salvation is always there. You can, if you clean up today and you feel like you messed up, come back again. Exactly. We're here. And We're... tap in. Mm, the tap in. once said something, he said like, I would hate to get to heaven and like they're showing you around like, so this is like the pool. This is like where we eat. <laughs> and over here, this is where we keep the blessings. This is your garage and they open your garage of blessings and there's still boxes there. Yeah. Like, it's like when I get to heaven, they must just be like that other one who's highly or she like, yeah. You know about this one. <laughs> but like, tap into the blessings. Mm. Like, tap into your true self, who he's you were really created tempting. to be. No, he's next level. He's te- like, he's oh, he's one of my but role But in a role nice models. way, like not in an intimidating way because I yeah. feel like sometimes that's why I will like go in and out because sometimes when I'm super in, I feel like I'm so in that like I sometimes feel like a bit ashamed when I'm like not at my most faithful level of yeah. like, you know, because I'm just like, I don't trust, I'm upset. Like, what the hell yeah. is happening here? Not right God? now. <laughs> you know? So yeah. he has a really dope, relatable way of making it happen and I appreciate it's him so I much. Lo- I love that about him. And I, I'd lo- I've i never heard you speak this way. So I, now I love that about you because I think you have the same power he has. I feel as though I may be put in place to have that very same power where you have an influence to be able to show people that you don't have to engage in this thing in on some rigid, like, very, okay, have to come in and say yes. yes. And, yes. Like, it's not that It's like, all. no, engage in, and you can put your own touch to it. Exactly. And, you, it'll resonate. Like, God is there to resonate on every level you want to catch him on. Yeah. 
but it's about service, and I think that's what's difficult about it. That's fine. Can They're you very get me in there? Self-serving people. The, can Should you, you get me in? Yeah. Okay. It's every second Tuesday. Mm. So not we did it this week. How famous do I have to be for this group? No. It's not a fame thing. Like you are God's child. <laughs> VIP. Like what? Yeah. Straight to Bugatu shoes. I'm intimidated himself. by the idea of Bugatu. It's like that's a that's a legend. No, I know, right? Mm. It's like right? whoa. I know, Bugatu. but he's honestly it's brilliant. We'll go. Yeah, he seems that way. We'll go. I'd love to. Like a lot of people go. Like it's like a it's almost like a creative and there's like culture yeah. in it also to a certain extent. Fire. Like Don Design goes, Zaz Boy goes, uh, Bianca goes, I go, Harmony. And there's other people, like Terry Petter was there. Um, That's fine. Gail Mabellane, obviously. But then so there's like, also like some guy like Wanda Boloy's brother and his wife. Yeah. It's, you don't have to be famous to go. It's, not <laughs> like, it's really not like that. But the thing is, sometimes we are intimidated to go into spaces like that. Yeah. Number one, because like... Can you wrap this up? Because I got a gig to get to. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's also like for some people like, mm -mm, you're not really tapping in. Or mm. I'm actually going through so much that I don't feel comfortable to like tell. I mean, if you think about a person like Don Design, you know, after everything that he's been through this year, mm. a relationship with God, it, it's kind of a personal space. And because of the nature Very. of what he's gone through, he can't really do it with like everyone and just pull up to a church and make it happen. And God is real. Like, you can. You can just walk into a church. If a church is a real church, mm. you should just be able to walk in and praise and As do your whoever, thing. yeah. But you know it's a bit different for us. Yeah. It's you like, know, it's not, it's not easy. We're going through our mm. own things that we sometimes don't like to talk about. Mm. Even if we wanted to talk about it, we don't feel like we have places where we can talk about it. Mm. And we have this thing that keeps calling us, that keeps saying, like, just stay strong, keep doing it. And a lot of people wonder, why don't you guys just quit? Ah, yeah, oh, I mean? would never. What you mean that? Thing. I would never. Mm. But we have this thing that keeps calling us, that keeps telling us to go back, keep trying, keep going hard, and keep trusting people, keep doing our thing. And that's God. But mm. if we don't have a safe space to, first of all, learn more about what he's actually saying, mm. because a lot of us have the calling, but we're not now exercising the muscle you're not tapped yeah as much as like God is there for you Jesus died on the cross you have to tap in like mm. it, it's a, it's a two way thing it's not gonna do itself yeah you really have to tap in mm. and it's it's not fun it's not always cool but the thing is you get to a point where you like I wanna hear more like I, I, you actually crave it yeah. you're like you're like yeah. I need to find out more about that's a fire point to get yeah. to like where it's like oh this is my favorite thing to actually that's how I got into that zone where it's like I'm literally waking up watching the hour of and then it's I'm probably doing because it speaks doing... to who you are it speaks mm. to your purpose it speaks to your soul like a lot of the things we do they're cool and they're great and mm. they're for the world and it's fun but and... the world is gonna end at some point and yeah. like are you sure that you actually fit the thing that's going to take you to that next? And that's that's what feels nice about God. That's what feels nice about sermons. That's what feels nice. Even if you're just watching those little 15 second mm, clips on Instagram and it, mm. and it touches your heart. <laughs> it's nice because Thanks. it speaks to who you really are. The truth who of you. you were made to be. Mm. You know? Yeah. That's a, that's a, you're right about the craving because as soon as you meet that space, it's like, I want more of that. Yeah. It's like, wow. Also, like, God only has good things to say about you. Fire. It's not Fire. black Twitter. Like, it's the reverse of black Twitter mm. with the Bible. Like, yeah. it's like constantly just telling you, you are great. You are amazing. You were not made to, like, suffer. You were not made to be anxious. Mm. You are brilliant. You are amazing. You are the child of a king. Like, my favorite one, especially like after Ricky died, one thing that I constantly kept telling myself is like, I have a sound mind. I have a sound mind. I have a mm. sound mind. Mm. Like so many of us just allow ourselves to just... <sighs> allow that, that guy to like, convince you. Like I have a sound you. mind. You have a sound mind. You have mm. a sound mind. I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but you have a sound mind. Like you have a sound mind. Mm. You have a sound mind. Don't allow that voice to convince you of exactly. all those things. You really have to like tap in. Like guys, you have to go back to your factory settings. Yeah. 
Sometimes the fridge might not be empty. What do you do? You mm. send it back to hey, it's hanging in the fridge. Yeah, mm. yeah. You have to send yourself back to the maker. <laughs> and but other people don't even believe that they are from that factory, and that's where the issue lies. My pastor if you says, don't tap in, if you haven't, if you haven't gotten to a point in your life where you could only like rely on God, mm. or it could only be God, yeah, just keep living. Yeah, you're still having a good time. Oh, you you're nice, my baby. <laughs> Usa, 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 <laughs> like, just keep living. I just swear, keep I living. swear, you're still young, definitely. Just keep living, it's going to happen. Mm. It's going to happen. No, it does. It comes. It's, it's like, going to huh? happen. You see here, there's only... <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It hits that moment in your life where it's like, ha, ha. You see, right now, I literally can only cry to Sky Daddy, like... It's all of it is more than me. And you're gonna like abracadabra it. You're yeah. gonna think it's abracadabra, and that's the thing. God will also fr- no, and God never fries. Actually, that's what that's what we learned in Bible lesson now. this week. Come on, God now. doesn't fry. God doesn't take away. Mm. You reap what you sow, and that's Ooh. what's difficult for people to accept. Ooh. Ooh. Is that you reap what you sow? Mm. So if you forget. The maker, mm. the true essence, the alignment, the mm. purpose, you'll reap what you sow. And that's difficult for people to accept because yeah. even in... And, and that's not like saying you're reaping maliciously. Mm. I think when people say that, they, you, they make it feel like, yeah, vele you're doing terrible things to people. Sometimes you're just doing the best you can. Ignorance is, is costly. Exactly. Mm. It's like looking in the mirror and going away and forgetting what yeah. you look like. Mm. Like, you know, but trust me, you have to tap in, guys. You have, have to. Tap to yeah, I, f- I always like feel sad when it's like, Ish. When I see people who don't want to tap, it's like, you don't want to. It's like, damn, this. It's like, it's harder without. It's so yeah. much harder. But okay, it's fine. God doesn't want that life for you guys to tap in. Yeah, he doesn't. It actually hurts him when you are it when does. you are going you, through it. Child. It's like, come on, why are you? It's true. And waiting there to help also. And any like all you have Babe, to do is that's ask. the resources. Everything is available. Babe. Babe. So it's like it, if you put it in perspective, you're like, I don't know if this is offensive to any of these type of, but it's like rich kids who like. The rich kids who Wonder. become and then become druggies and like can get lost and parents like, look for us the like yo son. we're here to yeah the we're here terrible son <laughs> we're here to give just you everything just come back home my baby just <laughs> just come back home just tap in to the crib like and I'm like no I'm an artist me nah, nah. my dad is so hard on me he doesn't understand. <laughs> He wants me to be a lawyer. That, that, mm. That's the thing. It's like Christianity, you have to get into... No, maybe not Christian. Well, well God. Mm. Let me say God. Yeah, let's keep it right there. God. Mm. You have to get into the family business. Ooh. Bars. And, you know, on a, a life level, maybe you want to be an ice skater, but the family business is... They are butchers. Talk that shit. You know? You're so right. <laughs> like, oh my you God. You have to get into the family business. And what's so crazy about the family business with God is that the business is you. The business is him. The business wow, is expanding no the kingdom. What? <laughs> you, oh my goodness. You have to get into the family business, boy. You have to, now. It's... It, you, know, you just made it make sense. It hit me... Recently, probably six months, a year ago, where it was like, you can't not work for the family. You have to work for the family. That's a part of being glued to, into your roots, into your alignment. You Mm -hmm. have to be, Mm -hmm. you have to be coming in and servicing at home. You have to service the game. You have to service the culture. You have to get into the family business. You killed that. You just gave me some... That's fire. Thank you. Shut up. That's fire. Your fashion sense, because you came in with it, like you said. Let's check where we are time-wise, because we could go on all day about this. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to do? Talk it off. Don't keep What do you want to do? Don't keep <laughs> do? You I was do? just frying you. I don't know how far you we are, though. You missed one. I was just you flexing me. on you. You scared uh, me. I was just saying, let's not talk about swag, because I'll embarrass you. 
in Daba, yo, you do it though. Yeah. But it's also just natural, also just organic. Kinda, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I am intentional. There's moments where I'm really like, oh, like is it cousin first? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Said cousin first. Nyanisa. You're gonna act like you don't know, but you know. Nyanisa. Who's up like, there with you? Ricky. Who do you see? Just Ricky. Just Ricky. Full Just stop. Ricky. Everybody else is drowning. Nobody's as holistic as I am. That's what I feel. Fire. Break that like down. Like people like mean? do it in like their lanes. Oh, fire. True. I'm too hectic. And the thing is in real life also. Like there's a yeah. lot of people do it for the gram. And then when you catch them off the yeah. gram. And the thing is like I'm actual combos. <laughs> like not just like designer. Not just like it's nice because it's a name. Like actually this looks Good. Yeah, the look is like it's a mood, it's a feeling. Like you, like this. Like look, you don't just see it, you feel it. Mm. Yeah. This look, you put it together yourself. This is just another day for you. Yeah. I yeah. tell, I tell myself, I'd, like sometimes if I don't have time, mm. like I'll get other stylists to like work with me. Mm. Um, I'll get people to pull stuff for me, but a lot of the times, like people will like give me stuff, but I'll have to like just ha- add my own thing to like make it me. Mm. That's why sometimes, like, I'll work with stylists and they'll get it so wrong. Mm. Like, they'll get it so wrong, but we're here now and we have to do the thing. And also it's me. Like, I could wear a T-shirt, hit it with the era, like, and it's a combo, Mm. you know? So sometimes people miss it and they feel like, yeah, it landed, but, like, that was me. It was not you. Mm. Respectfully. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Respectfully Respect. I always wanted to come here and say that Respectfully Respectfully That's fire Respectfully And you just screamed it like I did on the sensor <laughs> Respectfully <laughs> When I saw the trailer I was like oh Respectfully 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 <sighs> Damn So what matters to you now? Cause Like What matters to you now? At this point, you're, because it's not the same things. No. Like, things change. And now you're sitting here, it's like you've done so well at so much and have done it at the highest level. Like, what matters to you now? Because then going crazy and doing it, is, is it still as motivating? Just to do it? It is. Mm. It is. It is. You have to make every moment a moment for yourself. Um, mm. Because I'm finding now, especially after doing it for so long, like there'll be like little things where I'm just like, that's just a thing that will happen. And people are like, be like, oh my gosh. That was a thing. Yeah. And then there's moments where it's like, guys, this is a thing. And they'll just be like, and they're like duh, on some moves, you should be doing that. You've been in the game for 10 years. Mm. Like, why should we be punished by that? That's what you should be doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So That's you really have to just, like, do it for yourself. Like, you have to just do it for yourself, love mm. it for yourself. And just do it your own way. Like, as I, I'm very big on, like, the culture and a lot of things that I do are about so many other people. Mm. Like, most of the jobs that I do right now, like if I had to like list every brand that I work with, every client that I have, everything that I do, it's mostly about the other people, but it's for me as well, mm. you know? So you have to do it for yourself in a way that services other people. What's the list of your jobs right now? Like, or what do you do? Like... Okay, you are a creative director. So I'm a creative director. Mm -hmm. I'm a stylist. Mm. I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. I'm a rapper. Mm. I'm a voice of an artist. You saw me rap. I saw you rap. You saw me write. Mm. Let him know. Yeah, I saw it in real life. Why didn't you tell them? Yeah. The verse is there, still there on your phone, eh? Yeah. So I'm a musician. Mm. I do voiceovers. I'm a content creator. Mm. You are? Uh Uh-huh. Whew, that's a um, lot. What else do I like actually do? What would I call a job? Yeah, maybe like those are the five things that I'm like. Yeah. Maybe this week, 
those are the ones that <laughs> like this Talk week. That shit. Yeah. yeah, I don't do like a lot of styling work. It's mm. a lot of walking and planning that I actually would love to do more, but I don't have time. Mm. Like I'll like style looks for Zintle. I'm working on a, like a really cool project that I'll tell people about when it comes out. Yeah, but we'll do that too. Also, I'm muesli stylist. I won't lie. I always get punished That's by the fact job. that I'm not just muesli. Yeah, you, I'm muesli you work stylist. Don't <laughs> that shit. <laughs> yes. Hey, that's wild. So you do do styling work Babe, a lot, I'm actually. I'm actually a stylist. <laughs> yes. I'm, and I'm styling the best dressed. Babe, I've You're got a credible. GQ award. And I've, I've actually just been nominated at the DSTV Content Creator Awards. It's not Damn. only have style, but my content is fire. It's also fire. Shout out to Black Natives. Shout out Black Natives. That's fire. Because I was going to say that it's actually not easy. Like, I'm a Muslim stylist, guys. It's not easy. I'm a Muslim stylist. <laughs> oh it my just God. Click. It just click. No, yeah. the thing is, it, it punishes me every time. Like, it punishes me That's fire. all the time. I think the only person I trust to style Muesli better than me is Boogie. But I feel like I stress Boogie her out. Boogie is the business. I, yo, Boogie is the one. Boogie is the business. Boogie is the one. But you need to make sure your coins and your time is ready. And the thing is, like, I'm always doing so many things that I'm just like, oh, shit, Boogie, it's next week. And Boogie's like, no. Like, doesn't want to like, play Boogie's like, like that. Like, Boogie's like the Muesli of what she does. Yeah. And the, I work with Fire. people who are like that. Like, who yeah. are the Mooslies of what they do. At the highest, coolest, dopest level. So... I mean, I wish I could have a full-time stylist, but I'm actually a music stylist. That's fine. That's crazy. Crazy. That's crazy. Content creation is not an easy job. No. I mean, tell me about it. Well, I'm you ju- I'm know. trying. I'm new. I'm you I've just shout ar- out to Pro Beans. I've just arrived. Shout out to Pro Beans. Yes, shout out to Pro Beans. And I've just arrived. It's like, yo, this is not so when people look at it from the outside, it looks like, oh, you just get through that on the gram. That's you. when you know it's good. That's when you know it's good. Mm-hmm. When you look at it and you're like, oh. it makes me feel so good. Like, oh, I could do that. Mm. <laughs> just try my baby. <laughs> It's work. It's a lot of work. And the scheduling and the... It's a lot of work. Styling and... Makeup. Directing and... Babe, let me know. When I cut my hair, just now I was like, I need to cut the budget and time. Oh, you need it's like an extra two hours <laughs> and it's like an extra 15K every month just to lay the wig. Mm, talk that shit. Like, yeah. it's crazy. And it's like, yo, I, this one I'm is... Not going to make it. Mm. Not. I have to get to work. The content creation is really crazy. Even like just going to the DSCV Content Creator Awards nominations party. Yeah. Made me realize like, oh my God. And I saw all the TikTok because like... Yeah. All of them and you sometimes like, well, nyata what they do because for you it's just like a scroll. You just like... You just pass by it. That's actually where I saw it. Also, the TikTok. I was like, "Yo, this is actually so every day. I must it's have one. A real I thing. must have it." It's a real thing, and the thing is, it's like beyond it being a real thing for people who do it. It's mm. big business for like the whole thing, like big business. marketing and advertising. That's actually what we that's do. Big, that's the biggest business that's right now. That's what we do. That's yeah. what we do. Mm. Like we are actually in marketing and advertising every single day. Yeah. Like people don't realize it, and in your head you're just like, "Oh, I'm just doing funny videos." Advertising it's cool. itself is the biggest industry right now. That's what I would we say. are doing every single day, every day. It's everywhere, and it's not easy. Like we are the new. It's like you're saying, like you know, a V Entertainment in particular would win from yeah. like. It was live TV, and there was a point where you would see within the adverts like. Clicks, whatever else, whatever else, yeah. whatever else. And then like at some point, the show got to a point where it was like, and you can check your music channels. They're playing you adverts, yes. They have a few strategic place adverts, mm. but it's mostly just promos of their own shows. Mm. Because like people and brands are actually taking their money from normal advertising spaces like television or whatever mm-hmm. and they're actually putting it into you mm. you are the new what was that ad you see on generations what was that <laughs> <laughs> whatever what horizons was that? Yeah. whatever horizons <laughs> that's you my baby 
We the new ones. But like that's you. Yeah. Like you are a brand new advertising agency, and a lot of people don't like think about it like that. They mm. just think about it like, oh, I'm making content. But like, like it's just fun. Mm-hmm. Whew. And you just counted it among three, four other things. Yeah. That's a lot of work. It is. Mm. It do is. you feel like a hard worker, or do you feel like you're just gliding? I do feel like a hard worker, I wouldn't lie. I mm. do feel like a hard worker. And I'm so glad I went back to Bible study this week. And when Don shared that word, I realized, because there was a point where I just was getting so paranoid and feeling like, oh, I'm doing too much, I'm doing too much. And it actually made me realize, like, when Don was like, God doesn't have one to give. He's a God of abundance. He's a God of plenty. Mm. I said, that's why I do so much. That's why I can't do one thing. Because I have that much. I am a child of God. Come like, on. I cannot. Made in the image. I, babe. In the same DNA. <laughs> I have to do too much. I have to do it all. Go crazy. I have to do it all. That's fire. Mm. Intentions to do more? Maybe? By God's grace. Mm. What By else God's do you grace. like that you haven't done? I'd like to start my own brand. You, you owe it to... I do. Yourself, the world, and everything that has ever existed around you. That's not long overdue in the sense that we've been waiting, but like the time is right for that to happen. Mm -hmm. So I think that's like the next thing for me. So you're going to poach yourself from Zintle? No, I'll do it all. Work on your own brand and hers? Yeah. Fire. Isn't that so crazy? She'll give me an office in the building. It's going to be right? crazy. Isn't it better when you do business yeah, like that? And she'll actually unlock me. She'll be like, friend. You know, Zinka is so crazy. Like, she'll be mm. like, every time somebody drops something and it's, she's just always sharpening herself, working on something, she will like buy from my side and be like, friend, took five days for the sense to catch up. I live in Joburg. Your office is in four ways. That's a fry. Yeah. Like, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Like, we can... Mm. You know, there's so many things that I've learned over the years that I think I can really put into myself. Fire. And, yeah. She seems like such a sweetheart, too. Like she's a old. genuinely she's kind. Old. So, <laughs> so that's where she's, it comes she's from. She's old and very witty. Yeah. Like, Zinja is. The thing is, people always think about her in a particular way. And then when mm. you're around her, she'll just serve you with like these quick, like, pss, pss, pss. Yeah. And like when we were traveling recently, because we went to Las Vegas with Remy Martin. So we're traveling recently. I was like, friend, you like, wow, oh, you're so funny. Like, what is it? She was like, friend, I'm old. Like, I've lived this thing over years. I've lived life. Mm. Like, I'm old. That's fine. She's 40 and fire. I mean, she's mm. not old. She's still doing her thing. Shout out to her. She's yeah, amazing. She's a but she's young lady. She was like a hot old mom in Vegas. Ooh. At the Asha show. Come on, did you see <clears> that? You guys went to the Asha show, no? We I heard to you talking about that with Topsy. We went to the Asha show. It was amazing. In Vegas? In Las Vegas. Come we on, where was that? We stayed at the Wynn. Guys, it was perfect. When did you go? When, like, you, when was it? What, like two weeks ago? Yeah. Literally. That's so fire. That is so fire. You guys so just fire. flew out to Vegas to just go see Asha? No, Remy Martin flew us out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Remy Martin, so they launched a brand new global fire. campaign with Asha. Mm. Um, Asha's like the global representative for Remy Martin. Mm. So we thought we were going, like, we'd be the ones from, like, Africa. And we thought there'd be, like, people from all around the world. Mm-hmm. We got there and there was literally people from just the US. Mm. So we were like, shout out Bozonke. <laughs> He came with the alley hoop because we were Fire. just like, how the hell did we end up here? But the thing is, if you're an African person and you can't, please go to America. Yeah. You're going to come back home and realize, we say, actually, I'm too much. Yeah. Like, American people are like, they'll see from Ford. Like, they'll sort of be like, a, girl, where are you from? You got yeah, a yeah. bounce to you. They can like, tell, no? We say, no, you're not the same, my baby. <laughs> yeah, we'll Your say, texture yeah, yeah. is different, mm, you know? The cloth. And, and the whole thing was like, They'll see you like, oh, you're so dope, you know, whatever. Can I get your Insta? They check the Insta, they're like, can I get a picture? <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Like, it's really real. Like, it's That's really fire. us. Like, my mood right now yeah. is like, it's us. Is it's us, no? Because it's fire. us. Fire. Like, fire. it's us. And it should be. Who else would it be? But us. Come on. The entire... Come on. <laughs> like, who else would it be? Hey, is it Me, Hambe Noba, you. Hambe Noba, out there. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Yeah. How, Aya, how long have you been doing this for? 
No, you tell us that and then we'll go. We'll go. You lying. I'm done with you. You're lying. You've given me everything. Are you sure? You've spared. Spared. Yo, you spared. Bars and gems and jewels. I didn't even expect you to go fine. that crazy. Me too. I didn't think no. I'd be. You, you, you went launched me with stupid. the tequila though. And I'm, I'm more on Julio, but this one is like... Yeah, me to the our budget. Uh, it's okay. You know, it's we'll, okay. we'll work on it. You found the right person. I'm not picky. Mm. It was nice. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank I you. appreciate it. It was Thank nice. You for but Remy Martin took us out. Yeah. Remy Martin. Who did you and they were, Was it him? Just the two of you? Well, from here, they were like, do you know um, Diana yeah. Ross's son? He's an actor. Yeah, yeah. I think his is, name is... Isn't he the Evan, one? Evan. Yeah. Evan. Mm-hmm. He was there. Um, there was another guy named Kyle. They had like their local influence. Guys, the game is the same everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The <laughs> game is the same everywhere. Fire. Like you see how here, yeah, it's bright. There's Caspano Vest. Then there's yeah. Moosley, Anela Zondo, Pabu Kupa, Aya Pro. Like it's the same there. There was Asha. There was Evan. There was Kyle. There was Eva. But like, <laughs> The local market is very big. Obviously, Ricky was their ambassador for a very long time. Mm. So I think they're going into a new space and a new phase. I'm crossing fingers for my girl Z. Come yeah. on, Remy, cut the check. Cut the check, man. Cut the check, Let's do bro. big it's business. Us. It's us. Cut the check. Um, but it was really dope. And Asha was like so cool. Mm. It was, he put me on the reference that I gave you last night. Oh. But what's so crazy is he didn't even perform that song. Okay. So how did you get the reference? I just remembered it's Asha. Mm. And that's the he thing about like people you. giving you a platform. It's like people will remember. Gucci, actually. Actually, you're the one. Exactly. Music, are you giving us anything at any stage? I'm going to be back. Or are you taking your time? You're going to just... It's always been an expression for me, you know? And I think we really live in a one million streams in a week kind of thing. Like, yeah, hey, now people are expecting <laughs> me to do like Beba all the time. And I love Beba. It was amazing. And yeah. I really love doing that. Yeah. But I think I always want to express myself honestly. Mm. So we're going to take it to the dust for sure. Mm-hmm. I told, Can I tell you guys something? This guy was asking me about music yesterday. I was like, ah, uh-uh, don't ask me. We're going to chop it up tomorrow. He was like, no, but I just want to know. So I said, no, I'm going to do it. But I'm going to take it back to the dust. And yeah. what did you say? Tell them what you said. I said the dust is dead. No, you didn't say that. Don't what take it say? too far, my baby. Oh, don't tell them everything. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, he just said like the dust is so like 2014. It is. People have moved on. Nobody wants to hear that. Mm. And I, what did I say to you? I was like, it's not about what so, people want to hear. Mm-hmm. It's about who I am. Come on now. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And I'm always going to be who I am regardless of who's listening, who's not listening. Mm-hmm. And like, I... You in the world Twitter right now. Like, I mean, I'm not on Twitter. <laughs> I'm just in my own life. Guys, I will be at um, like a hotel. Mm. Like, trans- And then, like, a security guard will, like, come to me. And then in my head, I'm just thinking, oh, this guy's going to fry me about, like, trying to smoke here or whatever, you know. And this guy's like, sorry, Sissy, sorry, sorry. You know? Fire, yeah. Like, that's the dust level I'm on. Like, those are my people. And for me... Like my E told me, it's about sounding like who you are and where you come from, you Fine. know. So I'm going to be back and it's going to be an artist's expression. I feel like I'm expressing myself in different ways. Mm. And after being in the industry for 10 years, wouldn't it be so crazy if I was still doing the same thing? It would be. It would just be mm. crazy, right? Yeah. So I'm expressing myself in different ways, but the music is definitely going to come back. Okay. For so sure. whenever you do your next big business, you'll come back and chop it with us? I mean, I'm always doing big business. Should I come back <laughs> next week? <laughs> Talk that shit. <laughs> okay, so do you want to... We're doing the shot now. Okay, the with last the shot. the bottom cups is what but you Charles, said. this was dope. This was fun. I appreciate you coming here. Like, damn. When I thought about it, I was like... 
Mm. And the thing was, do you know what frightened me about coming? Because mm. like I was saying to you, you guess always on time and maybe I just, I got super hooked at that ex-global level. <laughs> there was flame in ex-global. Like the time, the timing yeah. of it was also like amazing. So I was like, why would he call me now? Like, what's the point? Yeah, but it's just so you know. No, but That's I realized okay, my father told me I had to come tell these kids to tap in. Yeah, I always take it back to church somehow with the shot, like with my interviews and the shots. But please always keep that also in in No, that's your, my in, default in your, setting. Yeah, right. It is. Yeah. And I think a lot of people get intimidated. They feel like they just need to be like the God person, like on the Sunday. Mm. And if I'm wrong, like maybe Kabelo will fetch me. Maybe I did it wrong. But like, guys, God knows who we are. Mm. Like, he knows who you are. We can't pretend. He's known us from before we were even born. He made us. Mm. Like, there's no frying him. And even if you are doing the wrong thing, it's fine. His grace is sufficient. He'll got you. He'll comfort you. It's okay. You just have to tap in. Tap in it with Mosley. Mm. Oh, my God. No, this tequila is not... <laughs> Damn. It's not the one. It is not. Respectfully, <laughs> respectfully, <take care. laughs> respectfully, respectfully, respectfully. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. No, let me leave with that. Ne? I was gonna say love life. He's doing what? But no, ne? we don't touch on love life. No. Leave it alone. No. Let's go home, guys. Yeah, <laughs> I was, the thing is, I just had a tequila, I'm so I was playing. about to answer the You're question. You're going to go in now? I was about to say, Come actually, on, give it to me real respectfully. Quick. Give me a minute of some, just at the end, we are rolling the credits here. You just, you know, a little bit of spice. You just say, ah, at the end. I'm a bad bitch. Come on. Uh-huh. I'm a bad bitch. Mm-hmm. That's what you need to know. That's all I'm the information we get. I'm a bad bitch. Mm-hmm. And are you acting bad or are you are you? I'm just trying to I'm trying to get a sense. This is for my audience. This is you giving me the look. This not this intel is not for me. <laughs> I'm a bad bitch. Mm. I'm actually single. Ooh. I'm single. Mm. But I'm seeing someone and he's nice. I like him. Single and seeing someone. No, because there's in a relationship. I was mm. in a relationship for a very long time. You were? I was in an eight-year relationship. Damn. Yeah. That's a long time. That's a long time. Why would you let go of that? Oh, my gosh. Because I'm bad like the Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> no, life happens and that's okay. Are you on your Kiki Palmer? <laughs> Kiki Sorry. Palmer was in a relationship when she went to the Asher show. And it's funny because yes, I went to the Asher show. Yes, and then show now too. she's been wilding ever no, since. listen. Yeah. I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> you can see it. Uh-huh. Come on, you knew. Stop acting like you didn't know. I know, what's up? Anyway, can I tell you? Let's actually chop this. Okay. Like the being single be f- of the end of a long relationship. Yeah, like, oh, talk that shit. Because it's like real life. It like, is. you know, you might yeah. need love. It's always so, and I'm like, I will always love my dude. Like, we did amazing things. Mm-hmm. It was great. We did our thing. Like, what? Mm. Iconic. We went crazy. We went crazy. Yeah. But no, I'm, I'm a bad bitch. Now you just, now you want to go crazy on your own. But, I mean, between you and me, mm. I'm not really an on my own kind of person. Okay. On my own, I'm going to go crazy. Going to go too, too crazy. And the thing is, I've been a bad bitch. Like, I will have a boyfriend, but still serve your ass. Still serve you sexy, still serve you twerk, still yeah. serve you We've seen it dude, for 13, for 10 years. So can you imagine, like, if I've just decided good see Make those types of it's decisions. <laughs> it's actually better for the game for me to just like to just keep it wholesome, ne? Mm-hmm. But I'm a bad bitch. And you? But also, I don't like the DMs. The DMs are weird. I have to be honest. Mm. Like when people it's know you're single, sliding crazy right now. The sliding is because the streets know you outside, ne? The streets know, know I'm outside. Ne? The streets know I'm outside, and it's just like. I'm very much a vibes person. Yeah, yeah. You know, so... And the thing is, like, I have that 
level of, I'm very nice and very, so I give you that sense of like, you know what, I'm a real nigga, I work hard, I could get it. Yeah. I could get it. Even now when you did it, like the way you moved right now, exactly, like. Exactly, but like, no. I was moved myself. I was like, no, oh. guys, <laughs> like, oh. I can't. I could I see can't. it. I was like, oh One thing shit. about me, it, like one thing about me, like, yeah. if I'm, like if I'm into you and I like you, yeah. you'll know. Please don't do too much. Don't do too much, my baby. Let's be friends. I'll like, wouldn't you want to have a friend like me? Uh, we're friends, right? I'm, no, we're friends. Yeah, yeah would, we're friends. I would love a friend like you. No, we're friends. Yeah. We're cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, mega to mega, it's always easier to make friends because it's that mega to mega. But like, as yeah. another dude, you just feel like, oh. yes, Yeah, then it's... But also, I'm how cool are I? Yo, how cool then? Because you just have to take your chance, no? Because it's weird. heavy. Look at it, though. It's, it's heavy. The thing is, also you can't just blame a nigga it's for feeling like. Because it's hey, look at you. It's heavy. It's like it's big business. If we just keep it to be respectfully. So how did? Okay, <laughs> now nah, let's go. It's fine. You'll come back. <laughs> it's fine. Thank you for indulging. <laughs> Thank you so much, Skanda Quizas, the greatest. Lovely. Lovely. Thank you. What was that? Damn. I was so tapped in. Thank you that you.